Hello and welcome to another session of reading with me, Miss Nikki. Hi. So, what story do I have for you today? Drum roll, please. <gasps> Ooh. What's happening here? Wow. That doesn't look right. <laughs> You can't take an elephant on the bus. No, 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 no. And that's the name of the book. You can't take an elephant on the bus. Why not? Shall we find out? <laughs> this story is written by Patricia Cleveland Peak. Let's see. You can't take an elephant on the bus. It would simply cause a terrible fuss. Elephants' bottoms are heavy and fat and would certainly squash the seats quite flat. And don't sit a monkey in a shopping trolley, for monkeys are naughty and find it jolly to snatch your shopping and chuck it about. No, leave monkey at home when you go out. Nor should a tiger travel by train. Think of the panic. Think of the pain. Tigers are built to spring and to leap. Think of the passengers half asleep. And don't hail a taxi if the driver's a seal. With such slippery flippers, he can't grasp the wheel. The taxi will sliver and probably swerve then throw everyone out the very next curve. A centipede on roller skates? It's rather bizarre. With 100 feet, he'd go quite fast and far. But to put on his boots would take him an age. He'd get in a temper, he'd get in a rage. and don't put a camel in a sailing boat. It's far too tricky to keep afloat. His hump, his feet would, I think, capsize the vessel and make it sink. A giraffe in an aeroplane wouldn't be right. The roof of a plane just hasn't the height. With legs and a neck so bony and long, a giraffe on a plane would simply be wrong. And don't ask a whale to ride a bike. Just imagine what that would be like. Without a bottom to sit on the seat, how would he pedal without any feet? A pig on a skateboard? Another mistake. He'd be too heavy. He'd probably break. Or his trotters would totter are not able to grip and up and over the skateboard would flip. Oh, and I wouldn't put a hippo in a hot air balloon. The basket's too small. There wouldn't be room. And if it did fly with hippo's great weight, it would come crashing down in a terrible state. And never let a bear near an ice cream van. Bears gobble up ice cream as fast as they can and if they're stopped they get annoyed and an angry bear is one best to avoid. Then how can we travel, the animals shout. How can we animals get carried about? What's the best vehicle? We haven't a clue. Well, I've got an idea. How about you? Yes, animals on roller coasters are good for a laugh. There's room for everyone, even a giraffe. So it's goodbye to skateboards, balloons and that bus. For we now have a conveyance that suits all of us. That was fun. What is the best way to get about for you? Hmm, I'd fly. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one. Until next time, bye.